What's up everyone? My name is Sleepwell and today I want to share with you some new farming opportunities that are available on Metis. Beefy Finance just got released on Metis a couple days ago and the yields on there are absolutely insane. Now I've already covered some yield farming opportunities on Metis around a week ago. That was NetSwap. There are some insane farms on there as you can see 1000% APR and so on. However, now you can supercharge these yield farm rewards even more by using beefy finance if you don't know what beefy finance is it's a yield aggregator which automatically collects your rewards and reinvests them that way you're earning even more yield so in this case of bnb net liquidity pool you could be earning almost 2 million percent apy on this let's go to netswap and take a look how much you would be earning originally just 1000 percent apr so you can see the difference is absolutely immense and it's very much worth your time to check out Beefy Finance. So let's take a look at some of these yields. BNB net continues to be the highest yielding one at almost 2 million percent APY. However, if we scroll down, the lowest one is USDT, USDC liquidity pool, which is only stable coins. And on this one, you would be earning 35% APY which is still great considering it is a stable coin pool. In my case, I picked ETH Metis liquidity pool. I deposited a little over $11,000 and right now that's currently worth almost $12,000. So I'm very happy about that. I'm earning 0.47% APY on this daily. And in my opinion, it is one of the best pools right now simply because I'm farming ETH and Metis, both of these tokens that I like a lot and I will be holding for the long term. So earning 0.47% on these uh, is absolutely no brainer for me. But you know, if you if you like to take on more risk, there is other uh, liquidity pools here that are giving you even more yield. So what are the risks of using beefy finance? Like I said, it is a yield aggregator which means that you're putting your liquidity pool tokens into their smart contract. And that means that if they ever get exploited, uh, you could potentially use your tokens that you've deposited. So that's something that you should always keep in mind. Obviously, uh, Beefy Finance is a very well-known protocol. It is available on so many different chains and it has been around for quite some time. So personally, I trust the protocol a lot but it doesn't mean that it will never get exploited. That's still a possibility uh, anytime. Uh, you know, that's just a risk of DeFi. And personally, I'm down uh, to take this risk with $11,000. That's a, that's a very small percentage of my portfolio. So obviously, if this exploit happens, I won't be, you know, losing my whole portfolio. So definitely don't be putting all your eggs in one basket like that so that you, you know, don't lose all of it. But yeah, it is still a great opportunity, even though, you know, like I said, you're using a smart contract. Let me quickly show you how you can uh, start uh, providing liquidity and uh, joining one of these vaults. Just pick a vault. I'll pick this one for the example, ETH net and click add liquidity you will be taken to NetSwap. Like I said, this is uh, still provision of liquidity to NetSwap. All you're doing is you're ju just depositing your liquidity pool tokens into Beefy so that it automatically collects the rewards for you and then um, buys more liquidity pool tokens. So let's say 100 net tokens. You wanna provide 100 net tokens for the liquidity pool. Keep in mind when you're providing liquidity, uh, the value of both tokens that you're providing needs to be equal. So in this case, if you have 100 net tokens, you would also need to have 0.629 ETH. And once you have enough of these tokens in your wallet, you would be able to click this button right here and uh, confirm the transaction. And after that, you would receive another token, which would represent your share of this liquidity pool. In this case, it would be 0.04%. After you have this token, you can go back to Beefy Finance and deposit it into this vault right here. Once you've deposited it, uh, you will start earning rewards. And uh, that's pretty much everything you got to do to participate. Uh, keep in mind, there is a 0.1% withdrawal fee. 
Um, so don't be jumping from one pool to another because, uh, you know, that fee starts adding up if you do it multiple times. So definitely keep that in mind and find a, find a vault that works for you and stick with it for at least, you know, a week. And uh, yeah, one last thing I want to add. This TVL uh, matters um, matters a lot because it affects the, the yield. As more money keeps pouring in to the Mattis, Mattis network, more people will start farming and uh, those yields will continue to diminish. That means if you want to take advantage of those opportunities, uh, you got to act quick. Because otherwise, you know, if you're watching this video like two weeks later, I guarantee you that those yields will be much lower. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to share with you. Hopefully you learned something new. If you like this video, leave a like. Uh, and if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. Thanks.